Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another quick little like patch overview video because in case you guys missed it, we did receive a brand new patch for The Sims 4 today and we also got another Inside Max's live stream, which is basically the Inside Max's live streams have been kind of a quick little way for them to showcase different things that they're working on, talk about patches and all of that fun stuff. So they've been happening, I believe, once a month or so. But I'll leave a link down below to the VOD for the Inside Max's live stream. It's only about 20 minutes, but we're going to be going over some of the highlights from that in this video as well. So first off, I'm going to be doing this patch overview a little bit differently because there's not much to show off. There's a bunch of bug fixes which you'll be able to read about in the like patch notes that I'll have linked below. But we also got an update to some of the base game hairstyles as well. I know they've been updating these base game hairstyles, you know, every few patches they've been doing maybe one or two at a time. So today they've actually updated this hairstyle, which is the like short textured hairstyle. They've updated this one and made it look so much better. So on the screen you'll see some video clips from the live stream actually where they showed it off. So they actually completely retextured it. They changed the shape of it on the top a little bit to make it look just more natural and kind of like real hair and not as flat. They've also added some baby hairs to like the, I guess to the roots. I don't know how to say it, but like the outline of the hair. So at the front, they've added some baby hairs. They've added some baby hairs at the back as well. And I don't know, the texture overall just looks so much better. And they've also made this hair so that it's for like toddlers, children, teenagers, adults and elders. So all of the life, like life stages can use this hairstyle, which is great. I love that they've been doing that and updating hairs to be for all of the life stages, not just one or two. And then they've also added in a brand new hairstyle, which is this one. And this one is basically just a more... I guess more like tight curly hairstyle but I don't know I just I love the way it looks and it's so pretty all of like the textures and stuff they've really been doing a good job at like making the textures with the hairstyles just more accurate and more like I guess inclusive if that makes sense and honestly this curl that this hairstyle has really reminds me of my own curls so yeah that's definitely makes me think about my hair which I actually love that so yeah, those are the two hairstyles that they've like updated and added and this hairstyle as well is also available for like all life stages. And then that's basically everything from the patch. I won't be going over the patch notes because not the patch notes but like the bug fixes and stuff. So yeah, you can read all about that in the patch notes. But then the other things that they mentioned is that they're giving us kind of like a sneak peek into the next patch which is something they like to do in these Inside Max's live streams. And in this, they've said, or not said, but they've showed off that the new, Af that the big Afro hairstyle that we've been complaining about as a community forever, the really big one that needed a like serious texture overhaul, they've showcased that they're done with it and it will be in the next patch. So on the screen, you'll see a picture of, you know, what that hairstyle will look like. And then they've also announced that they're going to be adding six new base game hair swatches to the game and these swatches are all like more natural colors which honestly i'm so damn thankful for i mean we've been complaining as a community about the lack of heads like hair color swatches forever and you will see a little montage on the screen of some of, of like all of the hair colors that they're going to be giving us so i'm just gonna list them off so we have like a more white-ish color, then we have a like darker, more natural brown that's kind of similar to my color. We also have a more like natural blonde-ish, not like dirty blonde, but more like, I guess just natural blonde if that makes sense. Then we also have a like more warmer white, really light blonde color, which is really, really pretty. And then we also have another brown one, which is just a more faded, I guess, lighter brown, which I've seen a ton of that hair color, like, like IRL. So it's definitely one that I've been wanting forever. 
and then finally we finally have a solid black color which like i mean solid black in the sense that it's a true black it's not like blue black or like gray or anything like that it's an actual real looking black color which i'm so happy about that's going to make me like i'm going to love playing with that in my game and having all of my black haired sims wear that because the blue that we like the blue black that we have in the game originally is just ugly and so unrealistic so yeah i'm really happy about the hair colors that they're adding and then the other things that they're going to be adding to be more inclusive and to work on like updating the game and making it more inclusive is they're going to be adding two new Asian eye shapes. And like these are like eye shape presets. Obviously you can, you know, push and pull them and like customize them a little bit more. But these are just the presets that they're adding. And they're supposed to be more inclusive of East Asian simmers. So yeah, they also mentioned again that they're continually working on making the overall game just more inclusive, more diverse and adding more inclusive and diverse like body presets into the game as well so that you can have like a bigger like range to choose from, which is great. I'm hoping that I mean, I know they mentioned that they're continually working on that and getting feedback from various different places so yeah i'm really happy that they're still working on that and yeah that's basically everything that they announced apart from the fact that they actually mentioned something about the next few packs as well normally in these inside max's streams they only talk about what's going on in the game like at the moment what's going on in the community or like free base game like patches and stuff but in this one, they actually mentioned that the next kit, as well as the next game pack, is going to be coming up really soon. And I believe some Guru Frost over on Twitter also mentioned this. And they basically said that in the next few weeks, we'll be getting announcements and more information on the next kit and the next game pack. So I'm really excited about that because... On the stream, SimGuru Solo and SimGuru Popcorn, who's actually the two that hosted this month, like this month's live stream, they actually said that the next kit items are really pretty. I think that it looks amazing. So yeah, it's really wait. pretty. So yeah, I'm really excited to see that and to see if it's like, if they mention like items, I'm going to be assuming it's not a gameplay kit, but either a creator sim or a bold kit. So. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what they've come up with because I've been really enjoying those. I really like having new content. That's just me. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. What do you think the next kit and the next game pack will be in the description? Not in the description, in the comments. Let me know in the comments down below what you're hoping to see next. So we know that next we'll be getting a kit and a game pack. And I don't know in which order those two will be coming, which one will get first or when we'll get them. But they are coming within the next few weeks. So yeah, let me know what you'd like to see and what you're hoping they add in either of those. But I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know, you know, obviously your thoughts about everything that I mentioned. And whether you like this format of like quick overview type things. I know it hasn't been that quick, but compared to my usual pat patch overview videos, this has been quite short. So yeah, let me know if you like the new like video format, I guess, and I hope you're all doing well, and I will talk to you in my very next video. Bye everyone!